excerpt was taken from a Bull and Bloom interview with Don Dockin. To listen to more from our interviews with Don, click the links in the description. How's Mick doing in retirement? Honestly, I remember the day he quit that I want to retire. We were at the airport, and I, we knew he was struggling. You know, his knees hurt, his arms hurt, his elbows hurt, his fingers hurt. And I remember he pulled me aside. We only had three shows to go. We had a couple of days off, and we were standing outside in front of the airport. And he says, look, man, I can't do this anymore. He said, I just can't. And I said, you know, you're not happy? And he goes, no, I just can't physically do it. I'm done. I've been playing drums for 50 years since I was 10 years old. And my body's worn out. My back hurts. And there's like little signs, like when we get off the airplane, we'd be taking our carry-ons and walking the baggage. And Mick would be way behind us, walking real slow and limping. And his hips hurt and his legs hurt. And, you know, he just wore himself out like a football player. You play football and you get beat up long enough, you can't play football anymore. And Mick had the hardest job in the whole band. I'd like to see anybody bash those drums for 50 years and not get injured. Just flying would hurt Mick's back in his hips, just sitting in the plane. He'd be in a lot of pain. A couple of times I used to have to help him up out of his seat because he's just hurting. The only drummer I know that's been around forever since he was played Woodstock in Black Oak, Arkansas is Tommy Aldridge. And when I did the Scorpions White Snake tour, I was shocked that I'd hear somebody playing drums backstage in the dressing rooms. And Tommy actually would set up a drum set and warm up before the show on the drums. I was blown away by that. Tommy has taken care of himself. A skinny guy, you know? He would literally put a drum set in the dressing room with White Snake. He would warm up, basically play the show twice. And he'd be playing drums, warming up for an hour for the show. And I was very impressed by that. So what is Mick doing nowadays? Honestly, I have not spoken to him since the day he left the band. We were friends for 40 years. He went off social media. He shut all his social media down, his website. I heard a week after he got home, he put his drums up for sale. And I hear that he's just living in Arizona, riding his Harley and kicking back and playing PlayStation, you know. But he kind of, for some reason, broke off contact with everybody. I know he did, uh, he did a video with Lynch and Pilsen. And Robert Mason called The End Machine, and he's playing drums on that in the video. But I did notice in the video of The End Machine, I know Mick pretty well, and I can see Mick in the shot, and he's playing a lot softer than he used to. But I have not spoken to Mick since the day he left the group, which was kind of sad, because I always... God, no kidding. We grew up together. I know he went with Lynch for that period, but then he came back and has been with you, I think, ever since, right? 15 years. Yeah, right. he'd come stay at my house, and he lived with me, and I remember I sold my house in Manhattan Beach, and uh, and Mick and I went and rented one of those uh, Oakwood Gardens apartments for a few months. We were living together until I, we went on the road, and and so, you know, Mick and I had a long friendship. Why he didn't want to stay in Communicado with anybody, I can't answer. You'd have to ask Mick. Mick sees it as his past, and he just wants to let it go. Now, you and George seem to be on the mend. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, we're too old to argue. Okay. That's what I was going to ask. Is it just kind of age and uh, and wisdom that... Uh... Not, only now. Not only now, nobody does drugs anymore. Nobody drinks, you know. I mean, Pilsen was a heavy drinker, you know, back in the 80s. He started going to AA like, you know, 27 years ago. And he's been clean forever. He's been in foreigner for over 20 years. And so, you know, everybody found their way. You either get clean or die. Two. 